the nation of Haiti. Slightly smaller than the state of Maryland, it's home to an estimated 10.5 million people. So why are we here? Meet Lena. This lovely woman, in her mid-80s, is full of the joy of the Lord and ready to bless you with anything and everything that she has. You may have noticed her knees are enlarged from severe arthritis. Her favorite phrase, Messi Jesse, thank you Jesus. Her house is simply constructed of sticks, mud, and rusty tin. The walls are crumbling and light pours in all around. Her bedroom comprises of a bed frame with some simple sheets as her mattress. Some sticks with a sheet pulled from end to end provides her with a simple storage area above her bed. In week one, a Haitian team cleared the land of bushes, dug a footer, and poured the concrete to form the foundation. It was an hour long trip to and from the work site each day. We ended each night at Destiny Village with a dinner and devotion with the kids. On the first work day, we learned the Haitian way of block laying and experienced a direct hot sun beaming down on our American skin. By the end of day two, we had all the block laid and were ready to move toward pouring columns and smoothing the walls. Each day we set up a small tarp for breaks. The local villagers would hang out and observe, sometimes pitching in and helping with some smaller tasks. A side project was to build a latrine a few yards away from our house. A team of boys dug a hole 10 feet into the ground. Our end goal was to lay the concrete pad over the hole and create a seat with surrounding walls and a roof. This little guy in the green hat is named Deju. He lived in a village on the way into Colmeny, where Lena's from. Every day he would hop on the truck as we passed by, work all day with us just because. At the end of the week, we surprised him and blessed him with a monetary donation, food, water, and clothing. I give you the Haitian art of stuccoing. 
Some of us attempted and it didn't quite work out, so we moved on to other projects. On Thursday, we were graced by the local church members. They came singing and praising the name of God and prayed a strong blessing over the house. Join in with them as they praise. Let's do it three times. 